Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Friday, December 23rd, 2022. Time is 12.53 p.m. Very cold, rainy Jersey time. All right, well, we got another one of these well-trained, professional, narcissistic psychopaths that's trigger-happy, that has a gun and a badge. It's going to be going away, so maybe we could send him a, a present in prison. We'll send him some soap. What do you think, people? Uh, this story's been getting a lot of traction lately. Uh, so this is reported on abcnews.geo.com U.S. Officer, uh, when did this come out? This is December 20th. Officer gets nearly 12 years of killing At Tatiana Jefferson. Here he is. Take a look at it. Yeah, take a good look at him. He's like, uh-oh. That's not good. He's having some real bad panic attacks about right now. Right, people? He's going to prison. He's going to be in there with the rest of the people that he sent there over some bullshit stuff, right? All right, let's find out what's going on with this one. This uh, it comes out of Fort Worth, Texas. A former Texas police officer who fatally shot Atiana Jefferson through a rear window of her home in 2019 was sentenced to say nearly 12 years in prison for his manslaughter conviction. You know, why are you shooting? Again, the level of intelligence that is working in law enforcement is just mind-boggling. Who, who is hiring these idiots? You're shooting somebody through a window in a house. I'm sure he uh, saw a black person and just assumed that there was a problem. All right, let's find out what's going on here. Let's get a little close of his face. There he is. Take a good look at that hero. I'm sure the uh, the bootleggers, the blue goose swallows, they're probably all crying right now. Oh, one of our heroes. Oh, he was just doing his job. He's got a tough job. You should spend a day in their shoes. If you're so smart, why don't you sign up for the job? Okay, Aaron Dean, 38, had faced up to 20 years in prison, but jurors also had the option to sentence him to probation. The same jury that convicted him of manslaughter Thursday also determined the sentence 11 years, 10 months, and 12 days. That just shows you something. They could have let him walk on probation, but he didn't get it. So obviously, it's pretty convincing evidence. The white Fort Worth officer shot the 28-year-old black woman while responding to a call about an open front door. His guilty verdict was a rare conviction of an officer for killing someone who was also armed with a gun. Well, I'm glad that you, uh, somebody's uh, saying that because it is rare. Though there is a website I posted on Gunnison Undercover where all these officers who have been convicted of killing somebody, they got their names and a quick synopsis of what they did. If I remember, I'll put that link in the description. I do have it on Gunnison Undercover Facebook page. During trial, the primary dispute was whether Dean knew Jefferson was armed. Dean testified that he saw her weapon. A prosecutor claimed the evidence showed otherwise. Dean shot Jefferson on October 12, 2019, after a neighbor called a non-emergency police line to report that the front door to Jefferson's home was open. She had been playing video games that night with her eight-year-old nephew, Zion Carr, and it, and it emerged at a trial that they left the doors open to ventilate smoke from the hamburgers the boy burnt. Zion, now 11, was in the room with his aunt when she was shot and, te shot and testified during the trial. This poor kid had to watch his aunt get shot by one of these psychopaths. After the sentence was pronounced, one of Jefferson's sisters, Ashley Carr, read a statement court from herself and another assistant, Amber Carr, who was Zeon's mother. Amber Carr said Jefferson, who planned to go to medical school, had big dreams and goals, and that her son feels he is responsible to fill the whole role of his aunt, and he has the weight of the world on his shoulders because he doesn't have a father around as usual. Ashley Carr called her sister a beautiful ray of sunshine. She was in her home, which should have been the safest place for her to be. Well, nobody's safe when one of these idiot cops shows up. Remember that, people. Nobody is safe when a stupid, well-trained idiot is in your presence or in the area. She was in her home, blah, blah. As, uh, as in a home which should have been the safest place to be, yet turned out to be the most dangerous, she said. At a news conference held later Tuesday outside a home where Jefferson was killed, Ashley Carr said the family wanted Dean sentenced to more time but saw symbolism in the sentence chosen by the jury. 
11 years, that's the same age as Zion, she said, 10 months, 12 days, that's the day it happened. It's a message in this. It might not be the message that we want and whole dream, but it's some, some of it. Well, look at it this way. This rat bastard will never, it's, it's, he, his life is screwed up. He's done. He'll never be a cop again. His life is screwed up. He'll never be nothing more than a minimum wage worker if he's lucky, unless one of his gang members hires him. And the family will get a payoff. There'll be a lawsuit paid out if it isn't already paid out. And that's that. We, you know, his, his life is wrecked. Their life is wrecked. Yeah, they lost that woman. But they'll have some money to help, and that's good. And, you know, one more douchebag is in, the, is in prison for killing somebody, being held accountable. These cops got to learn. You can't just be pulling these guns out and shooting people all the time and getting away with it. Those days are, are slowly coming to an end. The cameras are exposing. No doubt he probably had a body cam on there and they looked at the body cam or maybe there's another camera I don't know and they saw that this woman wasn't holding uh, wasn't doing anything. You know he sees a woman in there. I don't know. I, I just keep saying who's hiring these idiots? Who's signing off on them? The case was unusual for the relative speed with which amid public outrage the Fort Worth Police Department released video of the shooting and arrested Dean. He completed the police academy the year before and quit the force without speaking to investigators. Wow, only on a year, you know. You gotta stop giving him these big guns. Just give him a 22. That's all they deserve. Or maybe a pellet gun. The case is unusual for the relative speed, blah, 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 blah. blah. Since then, the case was repeatedly postponed amid lawyerly wrangling the terminal illness of Dean's lead attorney with the COVID pandemic. Body footage showed that Dean and a second officer who responded to the call didn't identify themselves as police at the house. Dean and Officer Carol Darch testified that they thought the house might have been burglarized and quietly moved into into the fenced-off backyard looking for signs of forced entry. They had a front door. There, Dean, whose gun was drawn, fired a single shot through the window a split second after shouting at Jefferson, who was inside, to show her hands. Dean testified that he had no choice when he saw Jefferson pointing the barrel of a gun directly at him, but under questioning from the prosecutors, he acknowledged numerous errors, repeatedly conceding that the actions he took before and after shooting were more bad police work. Yeah, this guy, uh, he panicked. That's what he did. He freaking panicked. Darch back, Darch back was through the window when Dean shot, but she testified that he never mentioned seeing a gun before he pulled the trigger and didn't say anything about the weapon as they rushed in to search the house. Well, at least that officer was showing a little integrity. Dean acknowledged on the way to stand that he said not something. He said something about the gun only after seeing it on the floor inside the house, and that he never gave Jefferson first aid. Zion testified that Jefferson took her, out her gun, believing there was an intruder in the backyard, but he offered contradictory accounts when of whether she pointed the pistol out the window. Why would she point the pistol out the window if she sees cops? She's gonna know they're cops. But in an interview that was recorded soon after the shooting. Clayton Corzion said that she had pointed the weapon at the window. So this really is just, uh, you know, we got a woman who's trying to protect herself. She's, she's fearing for her safety. And you got a cop there showing up, who a young cop. I don't know how old he is. How old does it say how old this idiot is? Uh, I don't see an age on him, but he looks young to me. Well, it's unfortunate that woman is dead. This idiot is off the prison. And uh, just another story of many of uh, these cops, these trigger-happy cops that just shoot first and uh, call the lawyer. Hope, hope that the... I wonder who paid for his lawyers. I wonder if the uh, union did. They didn't mention anything about a union chime in, so I don't know. Anyway... Officer gets 12 years for killing Atiana Jefferson. It's another story of many. I'll put the link in the description. Till next time, people.